Okay, I continue here. I'm almost done here. Almost done. All right. Uh, read one punch one to meet another, and one messenger to meet another to show the king of Babylon this is taking that one in, which I think has already happened with Saddam, being that he didn't use a phone from fear of being hit, so he used messengers to let him know. And the passages are stopped, and the reeds they have burned with fire, and the men are more afraid. I think that was fulfilled during the 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 the, the first Gulf War, which led into the second. Because we pushed from Kuwait and through those marshes and thing went through that area, and uh, that thing has I think that's been fulfilled since 2003. All right. Thus saith the Lord of Hosts, the God of Israel, the daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor. It is time to thresh her yet a little while, and at the time of her, and the time of her harvest shall come. Nebuchadrezzar, Nebuchadrezzar, the king of Babylon, hath devoured me, hath crushed me, he hath made me an empty vessel. He hath swallowed me up like a dragon. He hath filled his belly with my delicates. He hath cast me out. Uh, that, I used to think that meant Kuwait because Iraq swallowed Kuwait. <laughs> now I think it means more than that. I think it means a lot more than that. And who knows what it means now. Okay. The violence done to me and to my flesh be upon Babylon, shall the inhabitants of Zion say, and my blood upon the Cal inhabitants of Chaldea, shall Jerusalem say. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will plead thy cause, and take vengeance for thee, and I'll dry up her land, and make her springs dry. Which has happened in the ruins of Babylon, at least. And Babylon shall become heaps, a dwelling place for dragons, an astonishment and a hissing without an inhabitant. Now, that if that's talking about Iraq in our time, it sounds nuclear. Or it could be symbolic, being that Babylon could also mean Sunni Islam, and that people are going to leave Sunni Islam once Mosul falls, because that's the last big thing of ISIS, the last part of the caliphate. Yeah, and Babylon shall become heaps, a dwelling place for dragons, an astonishment and hissing without an inhabitant. They shall roar together like lions. They shall yell like like lions whelps. In their heat I will make their feasts, and I'll make them drunken, and they that they may rejoice and sleep a perpetual sleep and not wake, saith the Lord. I'll bring down bring them down like lambs to the slaughter, like rams with with the goats, with he goats. How is Shishak taken? How is the praise of the whole earth surprised? How has Babylon become astonishment among the nations? The sea is come upon Babylon. She is covered with the multitude of the waves thereof. And I don't know if that means missiles fired from uh, the uh, Russians and the waves are radiation. I don't know. Her cities are a desolation. Did you get that? Her cities. It's not just Babylon, it's their cities, which would be like your Mosul and your Baghdad and your uh, Ramadi and stuff like that. Her cities are a desolation, a dry land and a wilderness, a land wherein no man dwelleth, neither doth any son of man pass thereby. And I'll punish Bel and Babylon. And now if this is talking about Bel and Babylon, not just Iraq, but... I'll punish Bel in, in Islam or, or, or in the Middle East. I think that was fulfilled because Bel was, at least the images of Bel were destroyed by ISIS. But Bel could also mean Allah because it's like, I mean, the Muslims don't realize that Allah came out of that Bel stuff, you know. And I'll punish Bel in Babylon. And I'll bring forth out of his mouth that which he has swallowed up. Of course, during the Gulf War, I thought this meant talking about uh, picking Kuwait out of out of Iraq, and the nations should not flow together anymore unto him, because right after the first Gulf War, we put on sank we actually put on sanctions before the first Gulf War, and nations didn't flow to Iraq anymore, except for the little uh, some tankers like so they could uh, help the uh, sell a little oil for the people. Yea, the wall of Babylon shall fall. That means the defenses of Babylon shall fall. My people go ye out to the midst thereof, and deliver every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord. 
unless your heart faint, and you, unless your heart faint, and you hear for, fear for the rumor that should be heard in the land, a rumor shall co come both one year, and after that, in another year, shall come a rumor, and violence in the land will learn against ruler. So, in other words, it wasn't going to happen to the first Gulf War. Apparently, not a second one. But, you know, he had a rumor of something's going to happen over there, with helping the Kurds and stuff. You know, but now we actually are helping the Kurds. That's what I'm thinking. This is talking about helping the Kurds, the people from the north, and a great nation coming down. Uh, it says, "Behold, the people shall come to the north, and a great nation, and many kings shall raise up the coast of it." I'm thinking that rumor is now being fulfilled. So now it could really mean it, and we don't have to wait another million years. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. Unless your heart, unless your heart faint, and you hear, fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land, a rumor shall both come one year, and after that, in another year, shall come a rumor, and violence in the land, ruler against ruler. In other words, it's not just against Saddam. It's not just El Baghdadi and stuff. It's going to be. You have you, right now Saudi Arabia against uh, Houthis and Yemen. You have uh, uh, Turkey against Assad. You have uh, uh, Kurds against ISIS. <laughs> I mean, really, it is ruler. It seems to be ruler against ruler. Which would be... Uh, yeah, anyway. Therefore, behold, the days come that will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon, which happened to me. I think that happened just recently with ISIS destroying those graven those images. ISIS went in there and destroyed them. And her whole land shall be confounded. And all her slain shall fall in the midst of her, which is happening now. It's not just, it's not just Iraq, but in, in Syria and stuff like that. Then the heavens and the earth and all that are therein shall sing for Babylon, and the spoilers shall come, for the spoilers shall come upon her from the north. And I think the north, well, it really started from the north with Putin. Putin went in there, showed a blamer how it's done, and now the Kurds are rising up from the north and coming down and kicking. ISIS's upraised Sunni Patini prostration in Mosul. And to me, Babylon is not only just Iraq, it's also Sunni Islam. Then the heaven and the earth shall sing, yeah, for the north, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then the heaven and the earth and all that therein shall sing for Babylon, for the spoiler shall come from her from the north, saith the Lord. As Babylon hath caused the slain of Israel to fall, so at Babylon shall fall the slain of all the earth. That sounds very ominous, if you ask me. But I'm thinking that earth, the whole earth, the fall the slain of all the earth means the Haretz. Not the whole planet, but the whole earth, the whole land. Holy land. Ye that have escaped from the sword, go away, stand not still. Remember the Lord afar off, and let Jerusalem come into your mind. So when all hell breaks loose over there, Probably from the Iranians, due to well, Blamer giving them the bomb and 24 days to hide stuff. Uh, go have Jerusalem come into your mind. And far off, let Jerusalem come into your mind. We're confounded because we have heard reproach. Shame hath covered our faces, for strangers have come into the sanctuaries of the Lord's house. Now that was probably fulfilled in the first time, the first diaspora. They went back to Jerusalem and found you know strangers in the temple. But in our time, the temple is your body. <laughs> Strangers. Well, look up walk-ins. You'll see what I'm thinking there. Okay. Bye.